Good morning everybody. Hope you're all well. I'm out on the Hunter 350 doing some more running in and it's the 1st of October. 1st of blooming October. Where the hell has this year gone? It just seems to have flown by so quickly this year. Just, uh, yeah. Craziness. Yeah, so um, I'm just uh, out trying to get a few more miles on, up to the 300 miles per service. Um, I fitted a couple of mods uh, over the last couple of days. I put a screen on. We'll have a look at them in a bit. And I've put uh, engine bars on, uh, guards, and I'll put a uh, sump protector plate on, or belly pan, or whatever you want to call it. I'll put one of them on. Um, belly pan, courtesy of Joe, who gave me a discount price because he uh, he's traded his uh, hunter wasn't getting on with it so he's traded it and I'll uh, we'll reveal what he's replaced it with at uh, at some point in the near future but uh, there he didn't need the the, uh, the sump guard uh, didn't, he didn't get around to fitting it himself so it was straight out of the box and uh, he uh, he flogged it to me at a discount price so thank you Joe it's been put to very good use and uh, I was going to video the fitting of the sump guard and the uh, and the engine guards, but uh, it ended up being quite a lot more uh, not trickier than one would have hoped. Let's put it that way. But uh, we did it, but uh, yeah, it would have been very difficult to video and do it. It took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. First of all, you got to do the encryption factor, decryption of the of the diagrams that they send. And then uh, there was a sequence of fitting uh, to put both on it at the same time, but uh, nah, nothing, nothing too difficult, just a bit time-consuming really. And uh, yeah, so I did that, uh, did that yesterday. So oh, I did it again. So I'm trying, uh, desperately trying to get the, uh, well not desperately, I'm trying to get the. Uh, the 300 miles on, up to 52 so far. Uh, so I'm just on a, on a ride out really, just to try and uh, rack a few more up. Um, updating you with things. Uh, Paul, there's, uh, there's some new things coming. Big Paul, there's a change coming from his direction, which you'll see uh, in the not too distant future as well. And uh, Little Paul, there's changes coming there. Uh, need to get out with Kev and El. I've hardly been out with them this year. Uh, so we need to try and get out with them. It's, uh, I see Kev's new um, new addition to his collection. I think he's at uh, is Donington Park or somewhere today. I think he's at the Superbike um, Championship. I don't know. So no Kev today. And uh, yeah, so. Because of my limitations to 40 miles an hour, I'm just going out on my own, just to knock a few miles up and not have people worried about how slow they need to be if they're following me. Um, yes, yeah, so I don't really know where I'm going. So I would say stick with me, uh, and we'll see where we end up. But at the moment, I haven't got a clue. Uh, plan is to be home for half one, and it's. Uh, Eight minutes past eleven now. So let's see. So I'll see you in a bit when I've found somewhere a little bit more interesting than Stourbridge. So <laughs> back shortly. This is the uh, road up to, towards in the direction of Bridge North, 
Empire Renville. Nice stretch of road, you've probably seen it a few times before. I'm going to be holding the traffic up a little bit, unfortunately. In my 40 mile an hour. I'm just over 40 mile an hour limitation. But, uh, yeah, sorry folks. You'll be able to overtake shortly, I hope. Looking for another gear. <laughs> but there we go. I'll roll in there. Probably not going to get it much faster than uh, 40 anyway. Yeah, it's really nice uh, road. Sometimes badly maintained. I can get a few potholes down here. It's uh, one of our main routes for getting west, going west out of. Uh, out of the West Midlands and into Shropshire, South Staffordshire. Nice day today. Not too, it was quite miserable when I got up. It looked like it was going to rain, but uh, I think there's still a bit of spots of rain forecast, but it's turning out to be very nice. I need to get some more miles onto the uh, speed twin. I had it uh, ceramic coated yesterday. Uh, Gavin did a brilliant job of it. And it looks really, really nice. I don't know how you can make a new bike look nicer, but he did it and detailed it. And it's looking bloody awesome. Um, yeah, he did that for me yesterday, so that'll be the next uh, the next boy to come out and uh, get some more miles on uh, on the Donald. Uh, this is where I have to try and I had the same issue with my scram, which I bought down here as part of running in. It's uh, to try and keep the speed down because they they want to go, and this one's no exception. This one wants to go as well. Uh, so it's taking it nice and steady with it. Not holding it back but not letting it rip if that makes sense. And, uh, yeah. Watching a video the other day, I can't remember the name of the guy, young chap. He's, uh, he's, uh, he was, uh, did a bit of a review on the uh, Hunter 350. And he concluded, he got a bigger bike, he got a, a 1200, I don't know what, 1200 what, but he got a 1200 bike. And he concluded that he don't really know why he's got a 1200 bike. Now he's ridden the uh, the Hunter, and uh, of course the bike he was riding was running, so he was able to have a lot more fun on it. But it was blooming marvellous the way he through town. He was absolutely zipping around the, through town and you know filtering and weaving through the traffic, uh, and he loved it. And I'm sat here now, I've got the, uh, the Speed Twin and I'm sat here now going, if I've got the Speed Twin on this road, would it be any different? Would this experience be very different? It wouldn't be a great deal, to be fair. I know I'd have the overtaking power. Um, and it'd be a, maybe a little bit more responsive, I don't know. Uh, but in many ways, the experience of riding the Street Twin Twin, speed, speed twin, and this bike at the moment, under these conditions, would be very much the same. So, it's great to have a bigger bike, and I love having a big bike. I love the power that goes with having a big bike. But do you need a big bike to have fun anymore? No, absolutely not. You can have acres of fun on smaller bikes. Beautiful St Mary's. You can have oodles of fun on uh, on lower horsepower bikes, on lower CC. No, nothing. Yeah, that's the, the way the roads are becoming now. The way the restrict, the way we're being constantly restricted and just basically 
having our lives, you know, made misery by over-regulation. Um, it's difficult to argue that you need bigger bikes anymore. But I do, I love mine, and I love the, uh, love having that, uh, that power on tap and uh, playing with it when you can but for the most part the noodling around you don't need much more than this you really don't and what Paul's demonstrated, Big Paul, what he's demonstrated is uh, with his hunter is that if you were if you were a, a rider of bikes in the 70s and 80s well, so the 80s for me and probably the 80s for him as well you had to make those bikes work and we retain the skills to be able to do that we haven't had to use them for years because we've always had high powered bikes with tons of torque throughout the range so you haven't had to really ride the bike in the, in the, in the way we used to to squeeze the, the most out of it um, but he's demonstrated that that's all you need to be able to do with something like a hunter you have that old school ability to squeeze performance out of your bike so and I think I've demonstrated that on the scram as well now, now the scrams run in and I've just had loads and loads of fun on it you know it's no slouch but you've got to know when to you know apply your old school riding skills for want of a better definition know when to apply them and how to apply them and for me that's part of what makes these so much fun now is it's almost a very back to basics scenario that we've had forced upon us really so it's, it's like it's almost like going full circle and I'm unfortunate enough that I've got a place for everything I've got a place for modern and I've got a place for old school old school modern for want of a again want of a better description you know, if I wasn't holding this back, we'd be doing 60, 65 easily around here. Easily. I'm, you know, having to deliberately hold it back. But man, it's fun. So, uh, yeah. The, uh, the plan, as I've mentioned, alluded to on a previous video, is that the, this bike, or the Scram, is going to go uh, to Wales between Easter and October every year. And it's going to be my, so every other weekend when I'm there, plus weeks when I'm down there, or extended weekends and all that good stuff, I'm going to have it there available to go out and explore um, explore Wales and as uh, now again I've alluded to in earlier videos I want to be doing some uh, family history research uh, on the bike in Wales so having one there to do that again it's going to be uh, going to be brilliant it's going to give me more opportunities to ride my bike and the more opportunities I can get the better crikey there's some flies about this morning hitting me in the face so there's the plan for it so it's get it running toward fully running to its 1200 miles get it fully running ready to go down to Wales Easter uh, if this is the one that goes or it turns to be it could be the scram down to Wales Easter uh, have it available all through the summer explore as much of the uh, the back lanes of Wales as I can and then bring it back October get it serviced 
and have it at a home to use over the winter. But there's nothing worse than being over there, the sun shining, you, you know, you're twiddling your thumbs a little bit, and just to be able to go right, the bike's there, parked outside, covers off, jump on, and away. And I've already found, so following the uh, Easter tour I did uh, this year, I found so many places I want to go and look at and visit and uh, explore that that's going to keep me going for a very, very long time. So there you go, that's what's, uh, that's the plan. And what better way to, pl to pull, pull together a plan is that's to have the fun I'm having getting ready to be in a position to hatch the plan. Just felt a bit of rain then. So there you go. Right, I'll be back again shortly. So what I'm going to do is take the B4368 here towards Craven Arms. Lovely road, they haven't been down it for a couple of years. So uh, it'd be nice to revisit it and take the, uh, take the Hunter down here. English countryside's all about, isn't it? countryside. It's beautiful. Beam bridge. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Ludlow, V4365. Slight change of plan. Race track.
Right. I'm going home now. 96 miles on the clock. Stopped off at uh, Clay Hill for a minute just to give the bike a rest. Let it uh, cool down a tad. And now we're uh, going to head home. It's, uh, it's lovely up here, the views out on a clear day. Wonderful place to be. This bike keeps wanting to run away. I'm back, you can go when you've had your first service, you can get a 50 miles an hour. Till then, you stayed at 40. So you got Malvern Hills over there to the right. Uh, I wonder what those hills are over there. It's just stunning, isn't it? Yeah, so what I'm gonna have probably about. 125 miles on this when I get home. So well on the way to first service. And it's a uh, what a wonderful bike. That's a very wonderful bike. I love it. I really, really love it. I'll catch up with you again shortly. Oh, the engine on this bike sounds so nice. I'm just going to shush and let the engine talk for itself at the moment. Right, as always, if you've uh, if you have tagged along for the ride, thank you for coming on the uh, coming on the ride with me. Hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, that's turned out to be a had a bit of rain. It's all in all, it's been a nice day. Now it's time. 
12.55 I need to be making my way home now for lunch or dinner um, so as I say thanks for watching uh, leave a comment if you'd like to please leave a thumbs up if you liked it and if you want to by all means subscribe subscribers are very welcome and uh, anybody who wants to take part in the channel is very welcome to if you want to come on a ride out with us you're the local you're more than welcome to as well we'll try and organize something if you want to come out and join us for a ride out so should be to go back again soon with some more videos so uh, in the meantime enjoy october enjoy the last of the uh, reasonably um, long days i know it's getting dark around half six now so uh, we have a whole new season upon us so new things to do and things to enjoy so uh, yeah so take care of yourselves see you soon and uh, to the